I know some of you, cue the fire, will say all you have to say, Bravo, is scary bad news. And I'm going to tell you today that I am going to turn over a new leaf only happy stories today. Well, except for the fact that I, and not, not you, I think this is terrifying and probably one of the scariest papers in 2022, but it's good news. See, like with this article, the scariest paper of 2022 reveals the terrifying fate of Biden's economy. Millions and millions and millions are about to lose their job. See, I guess that all depends on how you look at it, right? Is the glass half full or is it half full of bleach? Does Biden even know he's president? If he doesn't, then that's probably a good thing. Are you happy you have people like me on this side of the not newsroom that actually can tell you what is going on when the Fed told you we're gonna wipe out the economy. Oh, everyone's like, oh, it'll be fine. Just buy the dip. No, they're cranking rates to 6%. What do you think that's gonna do? Oh no, the house, the house next door to me just sold. Like, come on, come on, man. Come on, Joe, you know how this thing goes down. This is, this is intentionally being collapsed right now. And you're just, you're, you're re reliving the last 24 months thinking, oh, it's great. And you know what? Before they gave everyone $10 trillion, it wasn't great. Everything was rolling over. I'm like, well, here's the recession we've been waiting for for 10 years. Now it's 13 years. Well, now I, here you have it, but they won't give it to you. So now they're going to completely destroy the entire co an economy and, and tell you it, it's fine. It, we're not even in a recession. I know, I know. No one has a job, but uh, it's okay. We're okay. And I say just because you work at Chili's, Walmart, uh, you, you drive for Uber Eats, you do Uber, and I don't know, you have a, a Venmo side gig. That does not mean you have, you, you've applied five new jobs to the economy. No, that's just you trying to survive. See, now, even like looking at this story, good news or bad news? I guess, obviously, the elites think it's all good news, and people that vote for it think it's good news. Uh, if I live there, my good news would be, hey kids, we're all getting in a in the car. We're gonna take a little trip uh, uh, somewhere that is not anywhere in this orange state. Look, b beginning January first, you're let go. Like it's like cops are like, oh no, you're fine, you're good. Aggregate. This is aggregated, ag aggravated <laughs> battery, aggravated DUI aggravated fleeing like imagine you do all of this all in one you set a house on wait you, you steal you steal everything from the house you set it on fire while you're on drugs and, and you kill someone and then you intimidate you kidnap the kids you rob them uh you, you murder some people in the house uh and, and then you you drive away totally drunk and you crash the car uh you, you're fine basically when they catch you the, the, they'll arrest you just for a second and then let you go. But I say, hey, if you're into anarchy, that's probably going to be the place to go because when this all goes to hell and high water, that's the that's the high water part that you don't want to be. And I just totally ru ruined that uh, analogy. So just skip the, 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 the high water part. And just like what I've been saying for a long time, these people right here, the elites, they... They promise to destroy the entire world. Attorney General. Uh, U.S. at risk of dissent into what? Hey, anarchy, that's great. Amid heightened distrust of DOJ, law enforcement, well, not just experts, that would be everyone. Bravo, the market isn't even crashing yet. Yes, it is. Hey, it, I don't know, so many people think that they're just gonna wake up one morning and uh, the Dow Jones is, is gone. <laughs> the NASDAQ uh, no longer exists. If you go back and you look at the Great Depression, it didn't just one day, it was all gone. No, it, it bounces on the way down. This is a clear, this looks exactly like the Great Depression. If, if I overlay the chart, you'd go, wow, that's the Great Depression chart, which I did do. And, and people were like, oh shoot, that's today. Exactly, like this, uh, after his legendary call, Hartnett, he called it like on the dot, August 17th, when he top ticked the bear market rally within a half a point, urging clients to short at 4,328, the market has fallen ever since. Like this, like th and this just pulled everyone in whether that was a, a, a rising wedge. Uh, now you got a head and shoulders. How did a head and shoulders play out? Left shoulder, right shoulder. 
80% of the time, head, there's your neckline, falls right there, exactly where it was supposed to do, and then it's gonna have a bounce, pulling everyone back in again. But the good news is, with all of this, you can still make money from it. You, If you want, I, I don't recommend it. <laughs> Not financial advice, we only paper trade on this channel. Script red. Uh, looking at this, you can swing trade these. You can see it, see the beat down, the reversal, you ride, 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 close right before. If I were to turn on the candles there, I can guarantee that's the 200 day, I, I can't guarantee everything, but I'm gonna say it probably came pretty close to touching that 200 day moving average. Uh, exactly like I said, right on the tip, pixel perfect, just like Hartnett. And how do I know this? Because everyone and their mother, maybe not the mother, maybe their grandmother has sell orders up there. They're like, that's where we're gonna close the position. And then down we go. And what's it gonna do? It's gonna touch that little yellow line. And if we cross that little blue line, we're all gonna die. When just in case you wanna learn how to do it, just do my all in one, 197 a month, three payments, just get it done with. You'll have my business one, you'll have my swing trade, and you'll have my, this is technical, these kind of things. This down here, uh, that's going to be support. You you cannot break that blue line. Why is that? See if we come all the way over there where those two uh, converge and diverge. Yeah, that is that is your support. You can't go lower than that. Otherwise, we go really far down, which I think we will. <laughs> but, at fir but first, we got to go up a little bit. And everyone can yell at me. Oh, ha, ha, the market's going up and you said it was going to go down. That's like someone falling out of a tree, like a redwood, very big. I think so. San Francisco up, up north has those big redwoods. You're falling, okay, and you're hitting a branch on the way down. You're like, oh, ha, ha, oh, wait, oh, oh, ha. Yeah, no, it's still going. And at some point, you're going to hit the floor, also known as support, and it's not going to be good. And if I were to take out my magical crystal balls, my guess is it's going to bounce quite a few times on that blue line before it finally breaks, just like the lovely Bitcoin. Yesterday, I need to apologize. I saw it after I filmed and I said, oh no, the nuke word was there. <laughs> and I didn't, because I haven't been talking about it for so long. New, clear. Okay, I did it. Now, now let me just screw up the rest. Bears go new, clear with $8 billion. I'm going to say that's a pretty big bear bet. Or that's a pretty fracking huge short squeeze. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to see who's going to win on this one. Bears go new clear with 8 billion bet the market will decline. I hope you're right. But if you are wrong, oh my gosh, we are going to have a pop like no other. That is called what? What, kids? Bear market rally, Papa. Three times what they thought in 2008. I would say this is a big deal. And if you were to look at the options that is happening, you would go, whoa, this is a bear market everything. Also, you can find out a lot with options and futures. That's, that's how we know like where interest rates are gonna be in the next couple of years. That would be negative. So then you think, well, Bravo, if you have that information, why don't you share it with us so we can make money? I do. That's why I moved a, a large sum into TLT, but I have to wait one to two years. I mean, that is unless you think that uh, in the next year or two uh, that, that we'll have nothing to do with bonds. Uh, I, I don't think so. Right now, we're, the world is starving to death uh, when it comes to uh, limited liquidity and dollars, which you're seeing. Now we have what's called supply and demand and everyone wants dollars. So the price of the dollar is going up. Also, if you want to know the exact time that the Fed is going to pivot, you come over here to the two-year yield. This is what the Fed follows. They look at the two-year yield and they're like, are we there yet? Uh, Jim? No? Bob? Joe? Uh, no, we're not there yet. Janet? Jerome? Nope. Nope. Not, not there yet. You're going to take this chart. You're going to turn it into, you probably do the daily or the monthly. I'm just going to go, let's, uh, let's go weekly. I, I'm glad I said none, none, of, none of the above. Uh, you're going to click area so you can see lines. You're going to get rid of all of your swing trading setup. That's my red line. That's the Bravo 9. There's my swing trading line. I'm going to get rid of that, and then I'm going to click on Fed Funds Rate. Like right there, you see that orange line that's coming up? It's excited. Yep, it's uh, morning wood right there coming on up. This orange line, which that's the Fed Funds Rate, needs to get above the blue line. Once that, I mean, unless, you know, Again, hell and high water, uh, but it would be basically hell uh, uh, coming up to meet you. 
um, something really, really bad happens, which all of the markets, the, the bond market is predicting it, the futures market, the euro dollar futures market, the yield curve, everything, the trillion dollar players are telling you something far worse than 2008 is about to happen and no one knows it except for traders like me that put money on the table and they're like i'll be back in a year uh so when that thing uh beats that thing up there that is when fed said pivot also looking back when people would say oh the fed's behind the curve no the fed's just stupid um and and the bond market was taken off yields were taking off and the fed wasn't we're like drum well how long are you going to wait, man? Uh, like this, you, you gotta, you, you gotta fake it till you make it. That's basically, uh, my advice for marriage. Uh, lo looking at this and it won't be like the day. Cause I'm sure that'll happen. See this, that here's their fed funds, right? See it crossed, but, uh, they kind of kept it and they're like, no, nah, no, we're okay. Uh, well then very quickly, uh, they said, uh, no, we're not okay. Let me measure it for you. You guys got to give me, uh, a uh, 112 days. So after that crosses and I can go back and measure all the other ones, but that one took 112 days until all hell broke loose. For those of you that are counting, it's about four months. Okay. More good news. Here we go. Coming from NASDAQ. Uh, U.S. household wealth. Oh, this is good. Wealth is good. Oh, shoot. Suffers. Okay. Suffers is not good. Uh, U.S. household wealth suffers record drop. Okay. Ooh, I'm going to chalk that one up to not good in second quarter. And this just kind of reminds me what, what did they say? Uh, whistling by the graveyard. Okay. So I would say that wasn't good news. So scratch that story. I got a good story for you. Here you go. Just good news. Uh, what's this? Uh, Get ready for blackouts. Okay, all right, okay. Get ready for blackouts from London to LA as the global energy crisis, because we, we gotta go green, kids, trust me. Uh, global energy crisis overwhelms grids and sends energy prices skyrocketing. Okay, so energy prices skyrocketing, not good. Uh, losing your electricity and not being able to see your spouse at night might be good. Or just in case you have to hide a body. Yeah, darkness kind of helps out a little bit. Okay, here's a good story because it's not here. <laughs> it's, it's, it's in China and the stuff in China never, this is frightening, you guys. China Evergrande, why is this not like front page news? The lenders appoint receiver to seize Hong Kong headquarters. Evergrande is, is going bye-bye. Like their housing market is gone. And that is what their whole, this is like one of the largest GDPs of history is rolling over. Uh, someone just lit it on fire and everyone's just kind of going to go through the rubble and collect what they can. They're seizing all the stuff in the headquarters. I'm going with cue the fire on that. These are not, these are good things. It's fine. We're going to be fine. Not, not, nothing to see here. And I'll see you tomorrow.